okay so here we'll uh, we'll see the uh, bias clampered bias clamper uh, output beams how we'll draw directly that means my, i am so first i'll show you using uh, direct methods without solving this circuit this is the bias uh, clamper circuit why it is bias because we have applied the two volt battery here okay so external battery applied that's why it is called bias clamper now well see that input waveform is varying from plus to minus 5 from the zero axis so peak to peak value is 10 volt is it okay so we have to maintain this peak to peak 10 volt as well in output also so what we'll see as you know that there is a capacitor here so across the capacitor the voltage is vc we have assumed and the diode is again here we see the negative uh, sign of the diode in downward direction so the waveforms will be shifted downwards here because there is ex supply external bat battery so we see the polarity of the battery and now in our approach the uh, always we see the battery from from this line that means from the top uh, sorry from the bottom line to up bottom to up always we see in this direction so when we see the this battery from bottom to up so the first negative sign will come and then positive so we know that the, from negative to positive the battery will be considered as positive only isn't it so and this method in our methods we apply this approach that we see only two things first the diode in which direction diode is that negative portion of and that means this arrow sign the negative sign of the diode is in which direction so negative diode direction is in downward direction and the battery sign from bottom to top so from bottom to top it is the positive battery positive to volt battery it means that the waveforms will be shifted downwards from uh, uh, which uh, amount this 2 volt from 2 volt to completely downwards so let, let us see the first point I mean that uh, the waveforms will be shifted from 2 to completely downwards it means that there is no part of the wave will be uh, upward or any part will be remain from 2 so this waveforms will be completely shifted completely shifted downward from now at what uh, instant it will be shifted so we know that from 2 to uh, we have to maintain the peak to peak value 10 because input waveforms we have uh, peak to peak value 10 so 2 we have to maintain peak to peak value 10 so it will go till minus 8 isn't it so the first point will be 2 and the last point will be minus 8 then only how we will check it up check it out so we will see that if we have uh, here the positive 2 volt so uh, we to maintain the peak to peak value 10 will subtract 2 from the 10 so we will get 8 so it is going uh, in negative direction so we will put it here minus 8 and what about the axis and 0 axis origin so 0 axis is shifted downwards that means each and every point is shifted downwards isn't it with the uh, from the two points we can say uh, two volt so now uh, we can uh, from five or zero axis in the input waveforms was five downwards from maximum point isn't it that means from positive peak it is five below this origin is or from the minimum point that means minus five point negative peak it is uh, five up isn't it so what we'll do from minus 8 will uh, subtract 5 so minus 8 or 5 it will be minus 3 isn't it okay so the waveforms is shifted from 0.2 to minus 8 that means peak to peak value is how much it is 10 only it is maintained from input waveform also have peak to peak value 10 so what we have done we have she the direction of uh, diode uh, which is in uh, which where the negative point is in down direction so waveforms will be shifted downwards and the post battery is the positive we need 2 volt battery so waveform will be shifted from 2 volt to completely downwards so 2 volt to maintaining the peak to peak 
value is 10 volt it will go to minus 8 so in this method <coughs> in direct methods uh, we do not require to solve the wave circuit just only what we do just we draw the waveforms by seeing the input waveforms and by just checking the diode direction and battery direction so here using direct method we have seen that how we are directly finding out the output waveforms using this input waveforms so here also we are maintaining the input waveforms peak to peak value and in the output also we are maintaining the peak to peak value isn't it now we will verify this method using KVL so applying KVL the first of all we will see that a diode uh, direction that means we have the positive half cycle and negative half cycle isn't it so we will see that for which half cycle so in positive half cycle and negative half cycle this is the positive half cycle part and this is the negative half cycle part so always start with the cycle that means this uh, first cycle and first positive cycle and negative cycle which makes the diode forward bias isn't it so forward bias means we have any applying the positive half cycle this plus to minus then this positive and this positive makes the diode forward bias isn't it and when we are applying negatives so it will make the diode reverse bias so that's why we apply the first positive half cycle so that diode will be forward bias isn't it so now uh, we'll start considering the first positive uh, cycle positive half cycle and for positive half cycle we apply the KVL so applying KVL and our aim is to find out the uh, voltage across this capacitor using this KVL so when we apply the KVL so, so what will be uh, we starting from minus to plus so it is the plus V in here so the sign of this is this plus to minus that means uh, minus VC and because it will become the short circuit so this is a minus 2 is equal to 0 so we see here uh, vc is will becomes v in minus 2 isn't it and so we have applied the positive half cycle so the maximum value the positive peak value of v in is equal to 5 so we have put here 5 so vc is equal to 5 minus 2 is equal to 3 volt so we have found out in equation number 1 the voltage across capacitor will be 3 volt now we'll apply the uh, same KVL to find out the output V0 is it here so when you apply the uh, KVL here we have V in again plus to minus that means minus VC and in place of this uh, 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 battery we will put here output voltage V0 isn't it so V0 will be uh, minus V0 is equal to 0 so what will the value of V0 V0 is equal to V in minus VC this is equation number 2 we will fix this equation and now just will put the value of V in for positive half cycle plus uh, 5 and for negative half cycle minus 5 because the positive peak maximum value is 5 and negative peak value is minus 5. So for positive cycle V output is equal to V in minus V in minus 3 uh, uh, and V not is equal to the value of in positive half cycle the value of V in is equal to the positive half cycle the value of you have cycle the value of uh, uh, v in is equal to 5 and 5 minus 3 is equal to 2 volt and for negative half cycle <coughs> for negative half cycle the maximum uh, peak negative peak value is minus 5 so v naught is equal to 5 minus 3 that means minus 5 minus 3 is equal to minus 8 volt so uh, that uh, negative cycle we got minus 8 and here the origin origin for origin the v in is equal to 0 so v output is equal to 0 minus 3 is equal to minus 3 volt so we can see here we can you can verify the output for positive half cycle the maximum uh, positive peak is 2 volt the negative peak is minus 8 volt and the origin is at minus 3 isn't it so uh, we have verified this direct methods using our KVL approach also so uh, I think so this is the very unique approach where without solving the circuit directly we can draw the output waveforms not only output waveforms we can out find out the output of the clamper circuit uh, easily isn't it so uh, I hope this uh, concept you will uh, you understand for further uh, type of clamper explained in next tutorial video thank you for watching